Hello my dear doers, welcome back to our UD18 module development series. And in today's session, let's talk about the new feature JSON data from URL, wherein you can now retrieve structured JSON data for any record directly through a simple HTTP request. This feature is designed exclusively for GET requests and supports secure external API integrations without risking unintended changes to your information. This is perfect for developers and integrators who want fast API-like access to the data without extra configuration. Whether you're building custom apps or integrating with third-party systems, this feature simplifies your workflow and helps you work more efficiently. Now let's see how it works. This path is basically part of the web module. So if you open the controllers folder, they created a new file, json.py which defines a new class, webjson controller. Within this class, they created a new route having a path JSON and its subpath. This route is not public, so you need to be authenticated when accessing this route. This route is HTTP, so you can only use a GET request. In addition, they specifically set this route as read-only, which is designed for fetching data and should not perform any database modifications. Before you can access this route, Udo calls a private method check JSON route active. As you can see on the node, this is an experimental route which can only be enabled if you are in a demo database or if you create a new system parameter web.json.enable. This is a safeguard to prevent unintentional exposure of your database via this JSON route unless you explicitly allow it. In this case, if you want to use it in production database, Make sure to add this new system parameter, otherwise you will get 4 over not found response. Now if either of these two is true, a redirect will be called to this route which will encode all the parameters. Basically, you can also call this method directly and manually add the URL parameters. The only change here is the auth type from user to bearer. This means we need to use authorization bearer token in the header in order to access this route which is basically good for external APIs. Here are the available parameters that you can use, the subpath, view type, domain, offset, limit, group by, fields, start date, and end date. The same with the first route. This route will also check if JSON route has been activated, as well as checking if the user has an access to export feature group. Let's try to have an example. Open the contacts module, and change the path Odoo to JSON. And notice that the URL has been changed and got redirected to this route. It also adds a default offset and limit if you haven't added it yet. What it does is, it will first gather the necessary data to get all the needed parameters before querying the database. First, it will get the action based on the subpath, the view type, form view with the record, domain and limits, the form view architecture, date domain for some view types, activity view type, and group by. Once all the required data has been gathered, the check redirect internal function will be called to ensure that the URL parameters are complete and consistent. If everything is in order, the appropriate ORM method is invoked. We have a read group for group data when a group by is specified, or web search read for a simple list of records. Finally, it will return a JSON response based on the data fetch. Take note that if it's a form view with a record, it will simply return the record data using the web read ORM method. Now that we know how it works, let's see how we can utilize this new feature. Accessing the JSON data directly from the URL is nice for testing, but how we can actually utilize this? So let's try this example. You have an external app that needs data from Odoo. This can be a mobile apps, web apps, or just a simple website. Using this new feature, it will make the integration easier without extra configuration. Since this route accepts a bearer authentication, we need to create an API key. In Odoo, methods are associated with a user. That's why creating API keys are within the user profile under the account security tab. Let's create a new API key, confirm your password for security reason, Add the description of the key, let's name it web application. Then select the duration you want. 
In my case, I will select the persistent key so that there will be no expiration. Then finally, generate the key. Make sure to copy this key and store it securely as this will have the full access to your user account in API context and you will not be able to see it after closing this form. Other option is to create a new user, add only the necessary access, and generate an API key. We don't have a demo web application, so let's just simply use Postman. Create a new request, get method, go to authorization, select the builder token, and paste the API key. For the URL, under contacts module, change the path from Odoo to JSON, copy the URL, paste it in Postman, click send button, and there you go, you have the results. But of course, this URL can be messy for some view types like the pivot view. If we try to open the sales module pivot view and access the JSON data, notice that the redirect URL has a lot of parameters. To use this URL and not the redirect one, you need to be authenticated, and for that, you need a session ID. But I think this is applicable only if you're building your own app. For third-party APIs, you can just use this route. So in this session, I'll just manually set the session ID in Postman by simply copying the session ID in the browser cookies. Copy the session ID, go back to Postman, click Cookies, select the session ID, paste it, and click Save. Then instead of this, copy the URL in the browser, change Odoo to JSON, Click Submit, and there you go. We have achieved the same result. Now it's your turn to try other views. So that's how you can use the new JSON data new feature in Odoo 18. I hope it helps, and see you on my next tutorial.